morning guys, just wanted to show you some accessories that were fitted to my bike the other day when I took it in for its first service. These parts were graciously supplied to me by Kawasaki Australia with gesture of goodwill. Um, just to sweeten the deal a bit I suppose with some of the stuff and rain I've been with, uh, been happening to me for the last probably nine months or so with the um, previous bike I had. Um, very nice offer indeed. Um, there's the genuine Kawasaki tank bag um, uh, for the Ninja 300. Um, I don't know if you can see it clearly down here, but there's a small clip down here. Just run my finger across it that actually um, goes to the front of the tank. Um, now I haven't done it yet, but what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to remove the seat. The dealer's already done this. Um, there's actually um, there's a couple of extra Velcro tabs underneath the seat, and what happens is this this piece here actually will unplug from the um, from the tank bag. Sometimes I wish I had three hands. Okay. So this Velcro piece just comes undone. Now what happens is underneath the seat there's a couple of tabs that this fella locks into, and so you can leave him sitting there like that, in front of the tank, um, and then the Velcro attaches from there to there to hang on to that. Um, as I said in my overview video, I just wish that this tank bag had a um, I, um, some sort of fastener so you could wear anything on your back um, as a backpack. It's got um, these two D clips to hang accessories off, I suppose. Um, there are these Velcro tabs on the side. What they're for, I don't know. Um, but anyhow, that's that. Um, there's also the, um, the genuine Kawasaki frame sliders as well. Um, now the only thing I'm not impressed about on this is the length of the bolts. I'll have to fix those up a bit. Either trim the things back and go and buy some new ones. Also, I'm not really impressed with the, the hole that the dealer made. Still a bit rough in there. I'll have to pull the thing off at some stage. Give it just a bit of a clean up just to get rid of some of those rough edges and make it a little bit fit and finish just a little bit more better. That's the um, that's the tail bag on the bike. So you can get a bit of an idea of that. The tank bag is actually um, in its lowered position at the moment. Let's see if we can raise this fella here up. Unzip him, grab that and give this thing a bit of a lift skywards. There we go. It comes up a bit. If we get inside, you can see how this thing's moulded itself to the tank. You actually see it's, it's reasonably raised up here in the middle. So I understand now why they've made the, the top section to be able to be raised, because you actually lose a, a fair bit from the curvature of the tank. So, so that's that. Um, the other thing I got too from Kawasaki Australia too is the genuine... Um, Kawasaki bobbins down here. I don't know how clear this thing's going to go, but that's them. Let's see if I can get down underneath this thing. Hopefully that'll work. So yeah, yeah, the bobbins, the sliders, the tank bag, and the tail bag. It's um very much impressed with it. It's um. All I need to do now is just do a few other little upgrades along the way. Not very much left. And um, I have myself a very nice little sports tour, just for myself. Um, I'm very impressed. Beautiful motorcycle. Well done, Kawasaki. Hopefully it'll be around for another 20 years, like the Ninja 250 was. Cheers.